When performing an immunoassay, one would like to be able to detect when a molecule is present. And so thus, it is necessary that the antibody-antigen binding somehow be perceptible. This can be detected because this complex can then precipitate and leave solution. Sometimes the difference between forming a precipitate or not depends on whether one is using monoclonal antibodies or polyclonal antibodies. Because monoclonal antibodies all come from the same cell line and bind to the same epitope, each antibody molecule will typically bind to a maximum of two antigens. And so thus, this could change how light uh, is absorbed as it passes uh, through a sample and could be detected with a spectrophotometer, but it may not form a solid precipitate. Instead, polyclonal antibodies coming from multiple B cell lines may produce different antibodies binding to different parts of the antigen molecule, different epitopes. These could then complex together and form a solid. And so the type of assay that one performs to measure the presence of a desired molecule may determine whether one uses a monoclonal or polyclonal antibodies to probe for this molecule.